Everybody, this is student Derek Laron Gibson. I'm doing this presentation for my COM 310 public speaking class. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with a story. And this story is in regards to ethical speaking. Back in the 1990s, I was a young man, had a best friend. Best friend had a girlfriend. He started falling madly in love with the girlfriend, wanted to be with her no matter where she went. So he started going to her church. Being that me and him were best friends, he invited me to go to his church as well, which I agreed. Upon getting to his church, you know, you got to a preacher and, you know, everybody sitting down and singing and stuff. Very random thing. It was a Pentecostal church, my first time being at, ever being at this kind of church. But anyway, the preacher started talking about how African Americans and Caucasians, black people and white people, should not mix. It's an abomination, you know, white should only be with white, etc. And then he continued about um, same sex relationships, etc. Now, admittedly, back at the time, I kind of agreed with him about the same sex. A lot has changed in the past 20 years, I don't agree with him anymore. So that didn't bother me. That part of speech didn't bother me, which is kind of ironic. But the part about blacks and whites not mixing did bother me because though I don't look it, my mom is black and my dad is white. Of course, he couldn't look at me and tell that, so he didn't really know his audience. He didn't really know who he was speaking to. But regardless, I was offended. Did I say anything? No. I'm not going to make a scene in somebody else's church. Well, I sure never went back there. Or I ruined the, uh, what he was speaking about to me. So, you know, the First Amendment gives us freedom of speech. God-given American right. You can say whatever you want, whenever you want. <clears throat> but does that make it right when you're speaking to a large group? Is it ethical to still say whatever you want, even though legally you can? Does that make it okay? I'm going to say when it comes to public speaking, no it does not, because I was greatly offended. Um, since Aristotle's days, I mean, hundreds of years ago, there's been evidence that ethics play a part in public speaking. Um, a public speaker should be trustworthy, have integrity, respect for others, dignity, and truthfulness. All right, so trustworthy. I can't really say anything about this speaker's trustworthiness. He said what he felt. Granted. Um, have integrity for the subject matter. Dude, this is in the 90s. His subject matter, he's talking like somebody from the, you know, the 1800s still working on plantation fields or making other people work, quote unquote. Um, I don't think he had integrity in his subject matter. It's already, it was like 90, 1997, I was already grown. I was already mad. So, <clears throat> no, he didn't have integrity in his subject matter. Uh, respect for others, definitely not. Very unethical because he doesn't know who's mixed with who or who's married to who or who's related to who or who's in love with who. Or, I mean, white, black, people have friends, etc. I mean, it was just... It was wrong to bring up that kind of issue during a religious sermon, during his public speaking. Uh, dignity and conduct, again, I'm, I'm going to say no, he didn't have dignity in his conduct because he shouldn't have been doing that. It's just wrong. I mean, there's too many, even in the 90s, there's too many uh, TV shows and, and non-hate propaganda, etc. to show the rest of the United States that, hey, we're not being like this anymore. That's Neanderthal. We're not doing it anymore. He, however, was speaking it to the congregation. Uh, truthfulness and message. I believe he believed it was true. But was it true mainstream? No. So um, he should have shown respect for and known his audience. He didn't show respect for his audience by being racist. Just because you're racist doesn't mean you know 150 other people, everybody in the room is going to follow your belief just because you're a preacher. And know your audience. He didn't know that he had a guy in there who could pass for white but is actually uh, black. He didn't realize that. So if he had... Changes that he could have made, you know, it's just ethical. I mean, knowing that, yeah, I feel this way, but I can't directly say black people and white people shouldn't be together or men shouldn't have sex with men and women shouldn't have sex with women. I can, I can, I can say kind of how I feel in my opinion in, in certain ways that aren't going to offend people on my belief, but I can't just go out there and publicly speak it to the congregation like it's law because he greatly offended me. So uh, that's what could have changed if he would have just used good ethics and realized even though you can legally say whatever you want to say, it doesn't mean that you should. Okay, thank you everybody.